Hey, what's up everybody? It's Angelic Vixen from Lucky by Nature. Today's video is about if you don't want to get wiped in scorched earth, you have to do this. The elements and dinos aren't your biggest concern in scorched earth, but kiters are. Kiting is excessive in PvE, so even though it's not PvP, you are not completely safe from being wiped. What a lot of people fail to realize is in PvP, it is a whole lot easier to wipe someone. If you have the dinos, the ammo, and the weapons, you can just go up to their base and fight it out. In PvE, however, you have to get creative and clever, using the dino's mechanics against other players to wipe them. Wildcard does not support grieving, but they are also too busy to help each and every player that deals with this. So it is your responsibility to protect yourself from the devastation that grievers bring to your doorstep. This is what could happen to you unless you take preventative measures. So I'm going to share with you tips that will help keep your base and your dinos safe. The location of your base makes all of the difference. The less entry points you have into your base, the better off you will be. To be on top of a cliff is ideal and also not to be under a cliff is ideal because someone can kite stuff right into your base if you're under a cliff. Once you have chosen your location, you need to set up the perimeter of your base. Eventually, you will want to upgrade to metal behemoth gates, but in the beginning, you can use stone behemoth gates and still be safe. And this is how you do it. First, do not put any of your buildings close to the perimeter. Line the outside of your base with metal pillars or metal dinosaur gateways. You can use stone in the beginning, but kiters can use the rock elementals to tear those down if they're willing to invest the time. So with the options that I mentioned before, you have the metal pillars that cost 25 metal ingots per pillar. It is ideal to go four high, so it will cost you 100 metal ingots per four pillars high. You will want to spread the pillars out to about the size of a dinosaur gateway, so the total cost for metal ingots doing it this way is 200. However, if you use the metal dinosaur gateway, it costs 170 metal ingots. Also, rock elementals cannot walk through the dinosaur gateways. So if you use the metal dinosaur gateway versus the metal pillars, you will be saving 30 metal ingots. And depending on the perimeter of your base, you will be saving quite a bit of metal. You will want to make all of your buildings metal. You can use adobe in the center floor. That way when you're inside the metal structure, you will not burn up. But you will also be protected from anyone who's kiting, rock elementals, or wyverns. You can also do a combination of dinosaur gateways and pillars. It just depends on your preference, but both options work and they also work in combination. It is better to have quite a bit of a distance between your perimeter and the dinosaur gateways and or pillars. That way there is a buffer between the two. Once you have the perimeter secured, you need to also consider what you will use inside your base should anything actually be kited inside, especially wyverns if you've protected the outside from rock elementals. Plants and turrets are an option. The turrets are expensive and the plants are economical. However, you need to keep in mind that the dinos will not aggro on your structures or your gates unless they're aggroed on you or your dinos, which includes the plants and the turrets. So other options that you have are high level rexes or high level gigas or gigas that are a decent level with a high level saddle. 
You can get some really amazing Giga saddles from the Loot Drops on Scorched Earth. And if you don't know where the Loot Drops are on Scorched Earth, please check out our video that will help walk you through it. On the Scorched Earth servers that I play on, a lot of the tribes have united to help each other because the kiting has been so extreme. But not all servers come together. So you will need to take extra measures to protect yourself. Having Gigas is one of the best things that you can have in your base. Having a decent level Giga with a really good saddle can kill rock elementals. Or having a Giga with really high melee can chomp through the rock elementals with ease. A lot of people trade or buy Gigas. They are incredibly beneficial and I highly recommend you looking into that option. The best defense is expect the unexpected. Never underestimate people in your server. Some people really have nothing better to do but kite other people. And they do it to steal whatever stuff they can get from you when your buildings fall. By implementing a lot of the things that I've shown you in this video, you stand a better chance of surviving if you are kited. I hope you liked this video and keep surviving!